Okay, so I want to address a couple things in this tutorial. Uh, I've gotten a question or two about how to uh, adjust the uh, menu on the side as well as how to create a form or also known as a survey and embed that in this uh, website as well as how to uh, create a, a calendar. So first I'm going to do how to edit uh, this sidebar or add this sidebar. Uh, the first thing you want to do is create all the pages uh, that you're going to use for the site. So I'm going to go under here. Actually, I'm going to go under here for plus and create a new page. So I'm going to create an FAQ page. And I want it to be, you can have it be a web page, an announcement page, a file cabinet. Let's call this one an announcement page, or actually a list might be the most appropriate. And I want to make sure I keep it on the top level. Uh, that means that it's going to stay, it's not going to be underneath uh, another menu item. So I'm going to keep that one at the top level. I'm going to click Create. And I'm going to do this for all the other pages that I want to use as well. So let's call this Homework Page. It's going to keep it at the top level. Let's see, I want to do this one as, let's say I want to do this one as an Announcements. And then Create. And then let's say I want to do the, form, let me do the Field Trip Form. Permission. Do that for as a web page for now. And then let me also do a calendar. Because we're going to be embedding uh, for those particular ones, we can leave those. Uh, it's best to leave those as uh, regular HTML pages. So that's how you create uh, the menu on the side. Obviously, it's easier to do if you set it up that way. So I apologize for not <laughs> sending this earlier. Uh, the homework page is pretty uh, self-explanatory. Let's see, we'll call this. Today is, is Friday, so I'm going to call this homework for Friday. And then you could do the same thing for FAQ, basically. And then, but let's go ahead and do the uh, course calendar, show you how that's done. So I'm going to go, I'm still logged into iSpartan, so I'm going to click here under calendar. So this is my calendar, but what I want to go under is create a new calendar under my calendars here. So let's call this kindergarten class calendar. You can get, be as descriptive as you want in the description area. You can pretend like you're in San Francisco if you want. Uh, and so what I'm going to do here with, I want to make sure I make this calendar with everybody in UNCG. And then I'm going to go ahead and create the calendar. And so now if I, here's my, let me turn off all these other calendars. So this is my kindergarten class calendar only. So what I can do, I can search by month. Uh, this is, I have so many calendars, I can have it turned them all off, it looks like. Oh, I've got all these other calendars down here. So yeah, so Google calendars is a sort of a neat, neat tool to have, but sometimes <laughs> it can get a little bit overwhelming. Okay, here we go.
So now this is only showing uh, the kindergarten calendar now. Well, actually, there now it's showing only the kindergarten calendar now. So let's say um, read chapter one for homework. That can be the first event. And then say maybe next Wednesday we're going to have a field trip to the NC Zoo. And then maybe the beginning of March we're going to have uh, snack time with Natural Science Center. So you get the idea. You can basically, it's really easy to create uh, different agenda items in here, uh, but you're wondering how do we, how do you embed this into uh, the class that we just created? So you see right here where it says kindergarten calendar. I'm going to click on this uh, little, I guess they call that a chevron or an arrow right here, and I want to go to share this calendar, and then I'm going to go to calendar details. And right here where it says embed this calendar. So this is what I want right here. I'm going to copy this embed code. And then I'm going to go back into here. I'm going to edit this. And then I want to turn on HTML mode right here. And then I'm going to paste it in here. And then when I hit update, the calendar shows me this little icon, but never fear. As soon as you hit save, uh, it's going to magically appear. So we've got read chapter one that we just created, field trip to the North Carolina Zoo, and then, well, I guess it's not letting me change it, but when the next, when it becomes March, then you'll be able to see the, the additional uh, entry for the Natural Science Center that I created. What's neat about Google Calendars is it's dynamic and so even though it's embedded here any changes that I make uh, into in the calendar apparatus here is automatically going to be updated uh, on my website. So that's sort of a neat neat tool to have. So it's very similar for the field trip permission form. For that what we're going to do is we're going to go under uh, documents and we're going to go create, and we want to create a new form. So let's call this snack sign up. And so these, there's a number of different types of questions you can have. So we'll say this: uh, Please sign up. This is for parents. Let's say we're pretending I'm teaching a kindergarten class. Parents, please sign up for a day when you can bring snacks for the whole class. So you can set these questions up depending on uh, what, your, what kind of information you're looking for. Uh, this first option is a text option. So you can have, you would type in your question here and then they would type in their answer there. But since there's a finite number of days uh, when somebody can bring a snack and you probably don't need them to bring a snack on some random day, it's usually best uh, to create this as sort of a multiple choice or multiple answer question. So let me change the way, change this type of question to, we'll do choose from a list or you could do check boxes. Let's do uh, check boxes. So let's say uh, these are the day, February dates, let's say. Well, let's do March days. February is almost over. So say we're going to do... Oh, I don't really want to look at all the different dates, so we'll just say first Monday, second Monday, third Monday, fourth Monday. And there might be a fifth Monday. Okay, so we do that for the first one, and then we'll st let's do for the second one. Uh, I want to do another checkbox, and we'll call this April dates. If 
first Monday, second Monday, third Monday. And you could actually, in your classroom, you could actually use this sort of in concert. So you could have uh, the Google Calendar that would list when each particular parent was supposed to, to bring snack. And then they could check that before uh, they fill out this sheet saying when they're going to do it. And actually, I just realized this might not be the best way, <laughs> best thing to do for sign up because you can't tell who the people are. So let me go back here and edit this a little bit. And let's, instead of check boxes, uh, let's do, we might need to do a text type option because that way they can put the date when they want to do it and their name. So we would do please list the day and your name when you would be able to bring snack. So yeah, this is really just to sort of give you an idea of what you could use it for. Some people, I mean, people in this class have used it for um, field trip permission forms if you wanted to do that. I guess that's what I named this one. Uh, but I'm really just most interested in seeing how you can uh, use this, use these tools uh, to make sure that you once, because I really think once you know how to use the tools, you can really apply them in in a lot of different ways. Okay. So let's say we've just got those two, uh, and we're not going to require you in CG. And okay, so that's good. So now we're going to hit save, and now we're going to go under more actions, and we want to go to embed. Actually, let me show you the themes, so you can actually spice this up a little bit uh, with by changing the themes. If you go here under theme, the default is plain. Uh, but you, depending on what you're doing, uh, th that seems to be a popular one with kids. Uh, but let's let's do this one because that's sort of food related. So you can see how it looks. If you like the way it looks, uh, you can hit apply or you can hit cancel to choose another form. So, it, but it still takes you back here for the editing piece. So now let's go ahead and embed that into our site. So again, we've got that embed code there. I'm going to hit copy. And now I'm going to go field trip permission. And once again, I'm going to hit edit here. And then I'm going to hit HTML. I'm going to paste it in there. And again, you're not going to see it. It's just going to look like that until you hit the save button. Bam. We got vegetable garden. And we've got names. So the neat thing about this is it actually collects information. So if you had multiple uh, things here, so say I want to do, um, what would March, say March 5th, I guess that's the first, first Monday. And then say I wanted to do, let's pretend that I know what April's schedule is. So let's say April, I don't know, 7th, is that going to be? Who knows? Now when I hit submit, you can actually edit this response if you wanted to as well, but we don't need to get into that. Now if I go to Google Docs, I can see, let me sort by my snack sign up. So you can see uh, it puts it into a spreadsheet form uh, what people's different responses were. So then you could go look at this, update your Google Calendar, and you'd be off to the races. So I hope this has been helpful. Uh, let me know if you need uh, any more tips. Apologize for not getting this out sooner. I hope you all are doing well, and uh, hope you have a good weekend. All the best.